Now, welcome to the land of Club Santa Lucia and a closer look at the development area you heard about in the preceding film. We took these pictures ourselves to demonstrate why we believe that here is fertile ground for the growth of investments and a brand new tropical resort. In this lush coconut grove where Carib Indians chose to live long before the island was discovered by Columbus, members of Club Santa Lucia will be able to build their own vacation homes. Not only will shareholders be entitled to special privileges and profits from the operation of the clubhouse and hotel nearby, but they'll have the opportunity of putting up cottages or homes on club-owned property. And all the headaches and added expense of arranging for builders, permits, and so on that you might associate with the Caribbean Development Program will be faced not by the homeowner, but by the experienced club management. The Club Santa Lucia Golf Course will be situated in this quiet valley, and along the banks of a river tumbling down from the rolling hills, the relaxed voices of vacationing golfers should soon replace the clatter of the little copra plant that's currently baking coconuts for the manufacturer of soap and margarine. All through these scenic hills and plateaus, rich with cocoa, cedar, banyan, and banana trees, there's additional land available for vacation, rental, or even permanent homes, because many members may well wish to settle on this beautiful island away from the hurricane belt, where the gentle trade winds even keep houses free of tropical insects. The Santa Lucia Clubhouse and Hotel will be located at the far end of Grand Ants Beach. 100 modern suites planned for visitors, and guests will be able to walk right out of their rooms to private cabanas to sunbathe or go for a swim. The surf rolls in continuously on this breathtaking mile-long beach, and though the waters are free of rocks and coral, a breakwater will be built immediately in front of the hotel to provide a calmer area for the less adventuresome swimmer. Then, too, near the mouth of the Caides River, there's another more secluded beach that's also owned by Club Santa Lucia. The palm-shaded plateaus and ridges above are perfect for picnics, hiking, and other kinds of recreation. Wonders are awaiting the would-be naturalist, the lover of tropical plants and flowers, and even the amateur archaeologist. Looking down from these heights to the land on which the Santa Lucia Clubhouse and Hotel will be constructed, you can possibly imagine why St. Lucia has had a greater increase in tourism this past year than any other Caribbean island. The government is encouraging the tourist trade by legislating tax benefits and offering other inducements to stimulate the building of new hotels. And here is where the main buildings of Club Santa Lucia will begin to take shape in the next several months. Instead of the imposing high-rise type of structure, the hotel is being horizontally designed by the famous Caribbean architect William Siegel to be tastefully in keeping with its luxurious surroundings. Porches and terraces will open onto this sandy beach but the hotel will also have a swimming pool around which guests may order lunch or breakfast. Then, too, there'll be tennis, badminton, and handball courts. Here on the hotel site, it's easy to understand why people use the word beautiful over and over again in describing St. Lucia. From the highway circling the island, guests will arrive at this turnaround among the banyan, grape, and cedar trees beyond which cars will not be allowed to pass. The Santa Lucia Clubhouse and Hotel will be only a stone's throw away. The approach will be through a thatched covered bridge crossing this little inlet, or marigot as it's called on St. Lucia. Plans call for the dining pavilion to be on the left, extending out over the marigot, to the right, also overlooking the marigot, but with a fine view of the beach and the blue waters of the Caribbean beyond, one of the hotel bars will be located on a little knoll. At present, the crossing to the hotel site is made with a bit of difficulty. But when construction has ended and the clubhouse and hotel are operating, guests will be having fun paddling around here in the Marigot in small native canoes. Eric J. Levette's principal owner and developer of Club Santa Lucia, goes up regularly by plane to inspect the 760 acres of club property. Right now, he's looking down on the area that's soon to be the club's golf course. This transformation will be undertaken by a well-known British architect who specializes in golf course design. Information on Eric Levetz is publicly available through Dun and Bradstreet, the Better Business Bureau, and Who's Who in Business. Mr. Levetz was born in the islands and has had 18 years' experience in land development and the expansion of tropical resorts. He holds many thousands of acres of real estate from the Virgin Islands to Central America. Eric Levetz was a leader in the development of St. Croix, where his holdings include the Golden Rock Housing Development and St. Croix by the Sea, a 70-room resort hotel. Mr. Levetz was the first to stimulate interest in the fabulous island of St. Martin with his 2,000-acre island gem development. As one of the best-known real estate authorities in the Caribbean, 
Eric Levetz has said that if the cost of land on St. Lucia continues to climb in proportion to rates in the Virgin Islands, the Bahamas, and other neighboring territories, property values on St. Lucia will increase 10 times within the next 10 years. This 2,000-foot airstrip was recently built near the club property to provide air taxi service to and from the island's airports, as well as to accommodate private and charter flights. However one decides to come to St. Lucia, no passport is needed. And in terms of public transportation, there are the island's two large airports, which are equipped craft from all over the world. St. Lucia is often referred to as the Tahiti of the Caribbean. Clear streams and springs abound on the island, and its mountains and valleys are covered with beautiful trees, with orchids, native bird of paradise plants, and other exotic flowers. The economy of St. Lucia is primarily agricultural. The major crops are bananas, copra, cocoa, and spices. But the island has plenty of electric power. Each village has postal service, and there are four hospitals, four newspapers, six banks, and 60 schools on St. Lucia. About 100,000 people are living here, and the principal languages spoken are English and French Creole. Before we leave the airfield that will serve Club Santa Lucia, it might interest you to know that underlying the major part of the landing strip is hand-cut native stone, the same type of stone that's going to be used in the construction of the Santa Lucia Clubhouse and Hotel. With support as strong as this, the airfield could one day be converted to accommodate the arrival and departure of large, heavy planes. Meanwhile, it will serve smaller aircraft and enable guests and members to take day excursions to the other islands near St. Lucia. By the way, right here in this palm grove is where the first fairway of the club's golf course is planned to be. And in case any golfer can't wait until the 19th hole, refreshments on St. Lucia are only as far away as the nearest coconut tree. One of the many pavilions being built on the beach as well as in appropriate locations on the golf course, some of the club's management are discussing the future. The Club Santa Lucia plan allows a person to become part owner of a large Caribbean resort hotel and real estate development in addition to receiving a special one-month vacation privilege every year. Only 450 memberships are being offered at $3,950 each. Until a commitment of 300 shares has been met, all funds will be held in escrow at the Chase Manhattan Bank in New York. If unforeseen difficulties arise, investors will be reimbursed in full. Club members will never receive additional assessments and will be at all times free from corporate liabilities. Mrs. Eric Levetz and Marcel Albert, manager and director of the Grand Anse and Club Santa Lucia Estates, enjoy a stroll on the beach as they plan features of the clubhouse and hotel. Members will share dividends from the hotel operation and the sale of some 600 acres of club-owned real estate, which includes the large plateau in the background. A member will have the use of a suite for two for a total of 30 days every year at 50% of the charge to other guests. And if a member can't take advantage of all or any part of his vacation privilege, he may send relatives, friends, or business associates in his place. You're invited to visit this delightful property on St. Lucia. A membership in Club Santa Lucia is your chance to get in on a ground floor Caribbean investment plan while prices are still low, the risk relatively small, and the potential high. Just one share entitles you to a suite at half the tourist price, to profits from the club's operations and the sale of real estate, and to the opportunity of building a vacation cottage or year-round home on the beautiful island of St. Lucia where land values and business opportunities are increasing every sunny day.